Alrighty, uh, normally a couple more people join a couple minutes in, but we're at about two or three after, so we're just going to get started today. Um, so hi everybody, I'm Adam, I'm the co-op student at Core the Care Wellness Center. Uh, a little bit about myself before we get into everything. Um, I'm a third year kinesiology student at Lakehead University. I also have a minor, or I'm getting a minor in sociology. Um, that's not correct. If I stop sharing that, that's not the right one. Um, that's not correct either. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I like to spend my time, my free time outdoors. There we go. Uh, I like to spend my free time outdoors doing hiking, running, biking, snowshoeing in the winter, skiing. Um, but enough about me. We'll just get right into it. Um, alrighty, so the topic for this webinar series, it's a new four week webinar series um, on major joint rehab. And so basically the major joints are, there's tons of joints throughout the body. There's little ones in our fingers. There's even joints in our skull here. Um, but for the purpose of this one, we're talking about the big ones that we use the most. So we're gonna be talking about shoulders, hips, knees, elbows. Um, and for this week, we're starting with the shoulder. Alrighty, so we're talking about the shoulder. Uh, a couple common injuries that we see um, with shoulder injuries in the clinic, or at least that I've noticed and that I've learned about in school is we have frozen shoulder, shoulder impingement, shoulder strains. The list of course goes on, but these are some of the most common ones that we do see. Um, and then just as for today, we are gonna be covering three sets of stretches and three different exercises. So before we get into the stretches and exercises, I just wanted to do a quick little anatomy review with you guys, just so you know why it's important we learn about the shoulder. So the way the shoulder works, I'm not sure if you guys can see my mouse here, but on the right side of this picture, there's this thing, it's called the uh, glenoid fossa. And that's where, if this is the top part of your arm here, and this is your shoulder, it sits like that essentially. And it's not very stable and it kind of, so just so it can roll around a lot, you get this big range of motion. Um, but there's not really much holding in place. You've got a couple muscles that go over it, like the deltoid covers it. You've got the muscles of the rotator cuff, like the subscapularis, infraspinatus, supraspinatus, and teres minor. Um, these are all muscles that play a part in the shoulder in stabilizing it and strengthening it. But again, it's just important to remember when working the shoulders that it's just essentially a ball sitting in a very shallow bowl. So it's just really easy to injure the shoulder because it's not that stable of a joint. So we just have to be very careful when doing these stretches and strengthening exercises. So a couple quick reminders. Um, we, <clears throat> when doing the exercises, we're gonna do 12 to 15 reps for three sets. So we're gonna be performing these movements 12 to 15 times, take a break, and then 12 to 15 more times. Um, for the purpose of today, just because these are normally about, we want these to be about 20 to 30 minutes, we're just going to be going through it once, but in the future, try to remember, we want to do about three sets. Uh, if three is too many or 12 to 15 reps you're finding is too many, that's fine. Everyone's got to start somewhere. You can start with a lower rep number, a lower set number, and then just work your way up. Um, for the timed exercises and the stretches, you want to hold them for about 15 to 30 seconds. No longer than 45, you don't really see any additional benefits of going past 45 seconds. So really 15 to 30 seconds is all you need. And then finally, as I've done before, uh, uh, we're gonna talk about different ways that we can change maybe some of the intensities of these exercises. So if they're not challenging enough, I'll cover that and then sometimes there's ways to make them easier. So I will uh, talk about that as well when we are just covering the exercises. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of things I have to cover. And if you have any questions, feel free to use the Q and A function. There's also a chat box at the bottom of the screen, which you can send your questions in and I'll set aside a couple minutes at the end of this webinar, just so I can maybe help you out in any way I can. Uh, so, Without further ado, we 
can get right into it. Alrighty. So for our uh, for our first stretch, we're going to be doing shoulder rolls. So luckily today, all we really need is a chair to be learning these. Um, so for shoulder rolls, you just have to sit upright, and then you're just going to start with 10 rolls of your shoulder forward. We're going to do that, or I'm sorry, 12 shoulder rolls forward, and then we're going to do 12 backwards. And that's all we need to do. We don't need to do this one um, three times but we're just gonna do it about 12 times just to get the shoulders warmed up, the blood pumping there. It's a great way to start out any exercise you're doing. So we're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12. And then we'll go backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. And that's our first one done. Pretty straightforward. It's just great for warming up the shoulders, getting the blood where it needs to be, getting the nutrients where they need to be. Perfect. Alrighty, next we're gonna do the deltoid stretch. So the deltoids is this big muscle that covers your shoulder here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your one arm, you're gonna bring it across your body, you're going to support it with the other arm in the hook of your elbow here. And then what I like to do is I like to grab the shoulder. And then if I'm not feeling enough of a stretch just like this, I'll give it a little bit of a pull so I can feel the tension running down, down my shoulder here. And when I feel that tension, that's where I want to hold it. If I feel too much tension, I would let off a bit. You don't want to hurt yourself with it. And then we're just going to hold this for 15 seconds. So we're probably at about five now. So six, seven, eight nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And let go, shake it out a little bit if you want. And we're gonna go to the other arm. So across the midline, hold it up, support it, and then grab the shoulder if you want to give that extra little pull, just so you feel the stretch, sorry. And then you're just gonna go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, now we're on to our third and final stretch that we're gonna cover today. Um, and this one is called the pendulum stretch. So there's a bunch of different ways we're gonna have to go through this. It's important that you just cover all these different ways because you're covering all the different ways that the shoulder can be moved and it's going to really work the rotator cuff muscles. So for this one, you're going to stand up first, grab your chair, and then you want to spend this one mostly kind of like hunkered over. So the way it works is you're going to have one hand supporting on the chair for balance. And then we're just going to go dangle our arm down. And then we're going to start with the arm going forwards and backwards. So they're just going to kind of swing it. And you want to do, you want to start small and kind of build your way up and do about 10 swings, it, the number really doesn't matter as long as you just kind of build your way up and you feel the more momentum and the warmth in the, of the blood going to the arm, you're good. So we're probably at about 10 here. So we're just gonna switch arms, move to the back of the chair. And then we'll just start. I remember about 10, but you just wanna start small and then slowly get bigger. You don't need to go crazy and swing your arm as much as you physically can. You just need to get it swinging is the most important part. Alrighty, so that's our forward and back done. Now we're gonna switch back to the first arm. And for this one, we're gonna dangle it and we're gonna go side to side across the midline. And we're gonna do the same thing, start with small and then we're gonna slowly get bigger and bigger. We're gonna do about 10. So just get bigger and bigger. You don't need to be swinging it so you're all the way up here. You just gotta keep it down. You just swing and go through the range. So here we are. So that arm's probably good, switch arms. Now go, start small, get larger. And you can take it, it's, if this gets a little too uh, tiring, that's fine. You can take breaks in between them. We don't have to power through them like I'm doing now. We're just, like I said, we're on a bit of a time constraint. So I wanna make sure we cover everything today. Alrighty, so that arm's done. 
And then now we're on to the third and final part of the pendulum exercise, which is you're gonna dangle your arm down and then you're gonna move it in a circle kind of like you're just scraping a big bowl of like cookie dough or something. So you're just gonna move it in a circle and again, slowly get bigger and bigger. Um, you don't need to swing your arm crazy fast just as long as you keep it in motion. And then we're gonna stop and then we're gonna start going the other way too. So you wanna make sure you get both directions just to be safe. Um, Cause you wanna make sure that you're working the muscles in every direction that they're used to being worked in and not one part of the muscles getting stronger than the rest. So that's good. We'll do the circles with the other arm. Start small and get bigger. And then stop. And then we'll go the other direction for 10. Perfect. Alrighty, so now we're gonna move on to our exercises, which we can do while seated. Um, it's a little easier if you have a chair without arms, but if you do, you can just do what I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna scooch the forward so my hands just don't hit the armrests on here. Um, so for these three, the basic easiest way to do it, most beginner way to do it, if you're just starting out is no weights or anything. You're just going to do this with the body weight of your arms. Um, but if you do want a bit more of a challenge, you can add weights. I bought some soup cans here. These are great if you don't have like any light weights handy. These are a great starting point. Um, and then if you need more of a challenge, you can find something heavier to hold on to or just go out and grab some weights somewhere. Alrighty, so our first exercise for the day is called the military press. And these ones, if it's a little too hard, that's perfectly okay. Um, then you should probably just start out with the stretches and then work your way up to adding these, excuse me, these exercises in. But again, um, yeah, just don't push yourself. You know, the point is to not be injured. But so for the military press, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold our weights or just hold your hands and we're gonna put our arms. So we're facing like a T shape like this and you want your arms basically in line with your back here. So you're like you're being pressed up against a wall almost. And then so we're going to go like this and then we're going to do 12 reps. So we'll go one and then up and then you're going to have your hands. You can't really see it, but my hands are about this far apart at the top. So we'll just go two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And it's not a race you want. You can do these slowly. It's a little better if you do it slowly. But if you do it fast, you might injure yourself. So just do it slow, control the movement, up, hands slightly together, and back down. And remember, you wanna remain flat the whole time. And we do this for 12 to 15 reps for three sets, just as a reminder. Alrighty, so our next one is called the lateral raise. So we're gonna take our weights, or again, if you don't need weights, that's fine. You're gonna have your arms down, hanging down at your sides, just flat. And then this one is very straightforward. Following just the, the sideline of your body, you're just going to go up until your arms are flat like a T like this, and then down. And that's one. So we'll go two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Alrighty, and that's one set done. Again, you wanna do about three sets. If you can't make it to three, 
that's perfectly okay. If you're having trouble with the 12 reps, it's perfectly okay. You can just lower the number of each and slowly work your way back up to where you want to be. Um, so we're going to take a little break here. You guys can go get some water or something. And I am just going to start explaining the third and final exercise. So this one is a little bit of a variation on the first one. It adds just a little, it incorporates a couple more muscles, adds a little bit more difficulty to it. Um, but again, if this one's a little too difficult, you can just stick to military press or just start out with stretches. Because stretching is the most basic, but most important thing you can do for muscle strengthening. All right, so the way this one works is you start like this with your hands almost together, weights almost touching, and then you're gonna go out so that your arms are flat with your back again in line. And then you're gonna go up like the first exercise, like the military press. You're gonna almost touch your hands and then you're gonna bring it down and back together and that's gonna count as one. And then so again, if you don't wanna use the weights, that's perfectly okay. So like this, then we'll go back, up, almost touch the hands, down, together, two, three, And remember, it's important to keep your arms as like it flat as possible while doing this. You don't really want them down because you're not really activating the muscles as well. This is the best way to do it. So I think we're at four with that one. Five. Six there. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, up, down, in, twelve. All right, so that's our third and final exercise for today. Um, yeah, again, if you don't want to make it more difficult, add the weights. If not, just going through the range and the movement of it is gonna work the muscles as well. So no matter what, you would be getting an exercise even if you aren't adding the extra weight. So there's no worry there. And we're just gonna hop back over to our presentation here, just for the final slide. Alrighty, so yeah, again, some general reminders. You wanna do them 12 to 15 times for three sets. Um, that's just a good way to, good number to follow. If you need to adjust it, you can make it a little, you can, you don't really want to add more reps and sets. You probably want to add more weight if you are finding these not challenging enough, if you need it a little easier. That's when you start to lower the amount of reps and sets. For timed exercises and stretches, you want to hold it about 15 to 30 seconds. Um, this doesn't apply to the shoulder rolls, which we did earlier, but, and the pendulum is kind of hard to apply it to but something like the deltoid stretch, 15 to 30 seconds. You don't really need to go much longer. There's not really any added benefit for holding a stretch as long as you possibly can. Um, and the final thing is it's really important to change for the intensity that you need. You don't wanna push yourself too hard because that's how we get injured. Alrighty, so to wrap up, um, these are normally uploaded to YouTube after a couple days. Um, once we've uh, finished the webinar today, it'll be up in a couple of days. You're welcome to check it out if you want to see the exercises again. Um, remember, be careful when exercising the shoulder. It's like I said, it's not a very stable joint. Um, it's got all the muscles here that are holding it in place. So that's why it's important we strengthen it. But overall, it's not very sturdy. So just be extra, extra careful. Um, and to be sure to practice stretching. Stretching is important, even if you aren't doing, doing strength training, stretching is gonna help you. You'll feel less sore, you'll strengthen the muscles again. I can't just express the importance of stretching enough. Um, as for next week, next week we're gonna stay in the upper half of the body and we are going to be talking about the elbows next week. So we're gonna be talking, doing a little anatomy again uh, doing a couple exercises with the muscles that cross the elbow and I'm just trying to think. Oh, uh, one final, if there are any questions, uh, 
please feel free to send a chat in the chat function, send a question in the question answer function at the bottom of your screen. Um, and then finally, one thing that would help, uh, we've got a deal on for foam rollers right now at the, uh, at the Corthe Care Wellness Center clinic. Um, these are great. They're just essentially a stick with a piece of foam in the middle that has a bunch of bridges on it. And then what you would do is if say your legs are sore, you would roll it over the muscles that are sore. And this just kind of gets the blood going there. It gets the proteins moving, gets the muscles rebuilding from the stress from uh, the exercise. And they're just really great for if, you're, if you have a tendency to feel sore or honestly, they're just kind of relaxing to use in general. Um, so they're a really great product. I highly suggest you check them out. Uh, and otherwise, yeah, I'll just stay on for another couple of minutes in case there are any questions. Otherwise, if not, you guys are welcome to skedaddle and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Alrighty, uh, I'm not seeing any questions popping up. So I think we're good to call it there. Uh, yeah, everyone enjoy your weekend. Have a good one. And we'll be reconvening next week to talk about the elbow. Alrighty, have a good one. Bye.